first start for the freshman Todd Mitchell of Purdue and also a first start this year for Cree Smith, the freshman from uh, Tipton, Indiana. And the opening tip controlled by the Boilermakers. Great to have you with us. Big Ten College Basketball. Steve Reed, Lord General for the Boilermakers. Inside, Bullock. First two points of the game. Gary, Indiana. Purdue by a deuce. Steve Alford. Scramble for the ball, picked up Atkinson to Reed. Three on one break. Bullock missed the shot. And then Mitchell went up with a shot and a foul. So we have the first foul of the game. We see Bob Knight a little bit casual here today. Talking with Steve Alford. 50 degree weather outside. He's ready to play a few rounds of golf, it looks like. Should ask him if we can play through. One of two for the freshman Todd Mitchell from DeSales High School in Toledo. Daryl Thomas is back, a third game back for Thomas. He had been out for some time because of a kneecap injury. In and out of the hands of Cree Smith. Inside to Mitchell. Back out to Troy Lewis. Purdue three and Indiana nothing. Minute 15 into the game. Foul number 24, Daryl Thomas. And that is the second Indiana team foul. Bullock going to the basket very well, and Bullock has four points. Purdue leads five to nothing. Fine individual move once again, just much quicker than Bob on the inside. Falling down. Steve Isle with the, with the basket, first two Indiana points. Gene Cady wanted a traveling call. Great recovery by the freshman Isle, not only just to get a hold of the basketball, but had the presence of mind to throw a nice bounce pass from a seated position inside to Uve. 5-2, Purdue leads. Driving to the basket, Mitchell, and the foul. Second person on Uve Blop, and the third Indiana team foul. And tipped in. Seven to two. Air ball put up by Lewis, but they stayed after the basketball inside, got two cracks at it, knocked it in. Mitchell getting the field goal, gives them three points. Bree Smith, Steve Isle on the other side. Inside, Uve Blop. ball goes out of bounds it's Purdue's ball first meeting this year in uh, West Lafayette Purdue won 62 52 Boilermakers came back after being down by eight points with 12 minutes left Troy Lewis has his first two points fine screen by Mitchell good cut without the basketball by Troy Lewis and he's an excellent shooter co Mr. Basketball in the state of Indiana his counterpart in that award still seated on the Indiana bench in Delray Brooks Bullock, transition game for Purdue. Mitchell, pass. fine pass from Reed, but Mitchell couldn't hold on. Bullock saves it. 9-2, Purdue leads. Troy Lewis getting the start today. It's his fifth straight start. Getting the starting assignment in place of Matt Gaddis. Bounced in by Steve Reed. He has his first two points, and Purdue leads 11-2. Indiana having difficulties with the defensive end of the floor, staying with emotion so far by Purdue. Good offensive concept, and Marty Simmons waiting to come in at the Indiana scoring bench. Isle inside to Uwe Block, but he's fouled, and the foul will be on James Bullock. 1,216 career points for the 7-2 senior. And he has all three Indiana points. Purdue leading 11-3 with 16-14 left in the first half. Uwe Block third in the Big Ten in scoring has four points. Mitchell, Atkinson was all alone on this side, couldn't get it to him out of bounds, still produced ball. Mitchell, baseline. Lewis tried for the rebound, but foul will be on Steve Alford, undercutting Lewis. 11-7, Purdue leads in the first half. 
That last foul was the fourth Indiana team foul. It mentioned that Troy Lewis would be going to the line, but it was ruled he was fouled on the rebound prior to going back up with a shot. So Purdue retains possession. This time, Blob not going out and giving chase. Todd Mitchell missed the shot. Uve blocked with a uh, rebound. Free Smith to Marty Simmons. Uve blocked back out, and the freshman, Cree Smith, banks it in. His first two points of the game. 11 to 6. Purdue leads 15 18 remaining in the first half. You saw the defensive concentration that time of the Boilermakers. They were just surrounding Uve that time inside as he caught the ball. Calmly dumped it outside for the open jumper. Atkinson losing the handle. And a jump situation. Oh, wait a minute. Foul called. It is on Marty Simmons. Had it been a jump situation, it would have become Indiana's ball under the alternate possession rule. Now inside of the foul is on Daryl Thomas, his second. And the sixth Indiana team foul. We've only played five minutes of the first half. Fred Jasper's now chasing Bobby Knight back to his chair. And He's we got, got a technical. Right there. There's the tee. Two-shot technical against the bench and against Bob Knight. Steve Reed, an excellent free throw shooter, will have the honor of shooting the technicals. Looky here, looky here. Bobby Knight just threw his chair clear across the free throw lane. And I think uh, Fred Unbelievable. Jackson. He picked up another tee. Now Fred Jaspers has called for athletic director Ralph Floyd. Fred Jaspers talking to uh, Mr. Floyd down on the uh, corner. Now we got Ralph Floyd out on the floor. It's 11 to 6. We're just five minutes into the contest, and this has erupted. There's a good chance Bobby Knight's been ejected from this basketball game. Fred Jasper is explaining it to the scorer's table. Now Gene Cady, the Purdue coach, comes over just to stay in contact with what decisions have been made. Uh-oh, we got, now we got three. Now He's we got gone. three. He's yep. gone. golf course here in Bloomington, a university course. Well, I'll tell you, that just kind of demonstrates the kind of year it's been over here and uh, total frustration, but there's really no excuse for losing your poise to the point of throwing a chair across the basketball floor. There's Steve Reed now. Well, we figure he's got six shots coming. He is now 21 for 22. He's got the center spotlight now. Gives us a chance to tell you a little bit about this fine senior. Man. Reed shot only 50% from the line in preseason games, but he, as I mentioned a moment ago, he's been near perfect at the line in Big Ten games. Mm. You believe this? Now Jimmy Cruz and Joby Ryder up at the Indiana bench claiming there was just two technicals, but we saw three of them called. Boy, this is something. Reed, who had missed only one in his first 21 free throw attempts in league play, has missed three of five. Yeah, he settles for 50%. 14 to 6 now is the score. 15 minutes remaining in the first half, and it looks like Jim Cruz has kind of assumed the position of leadership on the Indiana bench. Bob Knight has been ejected. Jimmy Cruz is the 
first Bob Knight coach player to ever become an assistant coach here. Atkinson, Mitchell, the freshman. 14 to six, there's 18 seconds on the shot clock. Purdue on top. Troy Lewis with 11 seconds on the shot clock. Out in front, Daryl Thomas. And Thomas puts it in. 14 to eight. Purdue on top by six with 14-11 remaining in the first half. And for the moment, anyway, the crowd and the Indiana basketball team have become one here in Assembly Hall. Mitchell driving to the lane and a foul. It's on Marty Simmons, and that'll be his second personal. This is a two-shot situation for Mitchell. Get a very good-looking athlete. Just a freshman. In and out. All for driving the baseline and a foul. Second Purdue team foul. 13.45 left in the first half. Purdue 15, Indiana 8. Alford. And Bullock with a rebound. Now Steve Reed will charge it up the court. Troy Lewis. Uwe Block, touchdown pass for Alford. Fifteen to ten, Purdue's lead is cut to five with 13-18 left in the first half. Great vision after the rebound. Big Uve laid it out there. Alford picked it up nicely, knocked it in. Always a very intense rivalry, and what a start we've got in this one. Lewis fires it up. Uve block pass for Simmons. But Marty can't catch up to it, goes out of bounds. Simmons and the ball both go out of bounds. Cruz and Joby Wright, though, Con Smith, they've all been with Bobby Knight for quite a while. They're a very structured team. James Bullock. Six points. 17 to 10, Purdue leads. 12 17 left in the first half. Might get our first two Purdue substitutions in a moment. Indiana has a history of being one of the better prepared teams in all of college basketball. Daryl Thomas Good suffered job, the uh, knee injury dislocation January 10th against Northwestern, returned last Saturday at Northwestern. Steve Reed. And Thomas the rebound, a chance for Indiana to cut it to three. Indiana doing a much better job now on the defensive boards. Purdue only getting one shot early in the ball game. They were getting two and three cracks at it. Foul on James Bullock, and that will be his second personal. 17-12, Purdue leading. Thomas reaching for the ball, couldn't hang on to it, and so James Bullock comes up with it for Purdue. Middle very well clogged that time by Purdue, and they alertly came out with a basketball. Matt Gaddis. Mark Atkinson, now Steve Reed. And Bullock with a shot over Thomas. James Bullock with eight points. He's averaging 14.3 points per game. 19 to 12, Purdue's lead with 10.42 left in the first half. Alford up the lane, tried to dump it off, got it back. Stolen by Reed. Reed and Gaddis out front. Gaddis baseline, put it up, and it's in. Foul on the play. And he does complete the three-point play. Now number 22 for Indiana coming in. Purdue 22, Indiana 12, 10-22 left of the first half. Alford missed the shot. Free Smith gets it back, puts it up. Comes up empty. 
gets it back and puts it in. Halfway point of the first half, along with Bill Hoskett, this is Lanny Terry. Great to have you with us. 22-14, Purdue leads. Uwe Blob not pressed defensively quite like he was. Little John, not quite the threat inside that Bullock was. Atkinson. Missing the shot, Steve Alford. Gray Smith, six points. Had his career high of 11 against Illinois on Thursday. Purdue still granting the outside shot rather than letting get it inside to Blob with single coverage. Oh, super pass by Reed. Great move without the basketball by Bullock. Bullock with 10. And the foul appears to be on Purdue's number 11, Mac Gaddis. It's a fourth Purdue team foul, the foul on Gaddis. 24, 16, 8, 50 left in the first half. Little John and Uwe Blob really going at it inside. Fans want a foul, and now Phil Bova caught him. As Little John wrapped his arm around Blob's waist. Three technicals called against Knight in the Indiana bench, and Steve Reed went to the free throw line. He had six free throws off those uh, three technicals and scored three of the six free throws. Now the foul on Mac Gaddis. Then in the game a few minutes, he picked up his second personal and the sixth Purdue team foul. Two very, very competitive coaches in this situation. Bobby Knight gone for the afternoon. And gone, Indiana but not trying forgotten. to prevent uh, three straight home court losses. Purdue went through that earlier in the year, and Indiana came to town, and they recovered beating the Hoosiers. Fine pass from Uwe Block to Steve Isle from Hamilton, Ohio. First two points for the freshman, and... Purdue leads 24 to 18. Gene Cady hoping to pick up his 100th victory as a Purdue head coach here today. Bullock couldn't ram it home. That really shows you how good the first play was that they did it. That one was just barely off. And when it's barely off, it doesn't go. Good effort by Steve Isle inside. 24-20. Purdue leading by four with 7.42 left in the first half. Sports Illustrated recently had that feature article on Hoosier hysteria. Bullock once again talking about high school basketball in the state of Indiana, but we're seeing it here from the college side. The two Big Ten powers going at it. Most people in this building know the complete history of these kids, particularly those that come from the state of Indiana. Mentioned earlier, this series started back in the early 1900s, and for the first uh, four decades, Purdue dominated the series. Isle got the rebound and had it rejected by Mark Atkinson. Reed had a traveling call on number 23, Troy Lewis. Uwe Blop. I like that sign a moment ago he showed. For all you do, this blops for you. 26-22, Uve with six points. Good composure shown that last time down by the big fellas. He got it inside, turned, nice ball fake, and calmly knocked it in. Steve Isle. Stu Robinson. Two-point game. Purdue leading by a pair with 6.07 remaining in the first half. Same format on that sequence. They dunk it inside. Three people around Blop. Steve Reed not recovering quite fast enough. Stu Robinson knocked in the jumper. Purdue back into their motion. Let's see who they've caught. Nice. I think it's going to go against Steve Isle. Trying to keep the ball going inside the Bullock. Missing the front end of a one and one, and now a chance for Indiana to tie it up. Purdue last in the league in free throw percentage, and it's hurt him here in the first half. Yeah, great free throw shooter stepping to the line now. 
91% his freshman year and uh, shooting 93% this year for a career total of 92%. Alford with a chance to tie it up. And he does. I'll tell you, most fans, when you go on the road or after a free throw shoot, and Alford's left the line here, they give it one, two, three, swish. They do the routine as he bounces the basketball. He's missed only six free throws all year. Traveling call. Steve Reed dragging that last, that uh, left foot. James Bullock leading all scorers to this point with 12. Robinson takes a seat. Probably could have used that chair. <laughs> Inside the block. And fouled by Bullock. And that is his third personal. Uve Blop. Another trip to the free throw line. We should see Indiana really going to him now in the next couple of exchanges. The Hoosiers by two with 5-12 left of the first half. Purdue staying with their motion offense. Good look inside. Number 33 of Indiana fouls number 33 of Purdue. Mitchell, two of four at the line. And a chance to tie it up, but Indiana holds on to a one-point lead. Just under five minutes left of the first half. Robinson. Rebound for Mitchell. Matt Gaddis with a shot. Doesn't drop at the oh. tip in. He is good. Great hand by Mark Atkinson. Purdue 29, Indiana 28. Four minutes left in the first half. Inside, Alford had it knocked away by Reed. Atkinson. Purdue player on the end line. Looking at the uh, shooting percentage in this game. Indiana came into the ball game shooting over 54% as a team, and they've only shot over 50% in three of their last eight ball games. So it's not only Steve Alford, but the entire ball club has in, been in quite a shooting slump over here. And yeah, the Hoosiers missed their first free throw of the day. 29-28, Purdue leads with 333 left in the first half. Reed up the lane. And almost tipped in by Atkinson, but then tipped in by Todd Mitchell. And Purdue leading by three with 3.03 left of the first half. Indiana playing with two freshmen on the front line. Isle missed right the there. shot. Steve Isle up and jumping it, but the minute Uwe Blop went to the bench, Purdue started hitting the offensive boards once again. Their last two field goals on tip ins. They lead it by three. Purdue has scored the last five points. Gaddis. Could have become a five-point Purdue lead, but now a chance for Indiana to cut it to one. Robinson puts it in and a foul. Has a chance to tie it right here. Missing the free throw. 31-30, Purdue leads. Oh, 30 white, that would be on Todd Meyer, his first personal. One and one now for Todd Mitchell. Mitchell hits a pair and Purdue leads 33-30. Approaching the two minute mark. Good head and shoulder fake there. Great move. Alford looked like he was pulling up and froze both defenders. A little hesitation dribble and just put it back on the deck. Made the little reverse layup. Purdue leads by one.
Gaddish. Shot knocked away by Todd Meyer. Good play by Meyer, and the foul is on Mitchell. Todd Mitchell, Purdue, guilty of his first personal. Here's the pass on the bounce pass. Meyer coming from the weak side, and not a goaltending situation. He cleanly got it on the way up. Now we've got to push along the lane line. And it's on Dan Dakic, number 11. A number of missed free throws, especially on the Purdue side, goes out of bounds. Indiana's ball, 33-32. Purdue leads with a minute 24 remaining in the first half. Good hustle by Todd Mitchell. Nevertheless, ball going back to Indiana. You can tell the emotion involved when guys are diving for the ball out around the half court. I'll miss the shot and the fouls on Todd Meyer. And Mitchell has hit double figures. He has 10 points. And that makes it a three-point game with a minute nine left in the first half. Alford's shot turned away by Mitchell, and the foul is on Steve Alford. Purdue side, James Bullock with three. And Troy Lewis missing the front end of the one and one. Back uh, at the 15 minute mark, and Bob Knight was ejected. Six technical free throw opportunities for Steve Reed. He made just three of six. Down to 37 seconds, so one chance, one shot for Purdue. Content to go to the locker room with a five point lead. They now are on top by three. Got to get it in motion now. They're down to seven seconds. Reed going one-on-one, -on -one, dumps it inside to Mitchell. Meyer picks it off the floor. One second, and there's the buzzer. <laughs> Purdue 35, Indiana 32. 18-25 left in the second half. Bullock. Rebound for Atkinson, second opportunity, puts it in, Atkinson with four points in the game, and Purdue leads 37-32. Once again, evidencing a great set of hands that Atkinson had. He stayed with that ball and got it in on the second try. Got a little matchup zone going now with Steve Reed coming out on top as the point guard in that defense. They made him work that time and got the jumper to go. Bree Smith with eight points in the game. Purdue's lead is three, 17-48 remaining. In the first half, a look at the result of the first game between the two schools played at Purdue. James Bullock that time was thinking about going to the hoop before he caught the basketball. Turnover to Indiana. Losing the handle is Cree Smith. Atkinson to Reed. Steve Reed. Missing the shot, Mitchell the rebound, and Todd Mitchell with 13 points. Another strong move by the freshman. He went up high with two hands, came down with a basketball, and exploded right back to the hoop. Alford to Smith. Lop out to Robinson, now driving up the lane. Steve Isle puts it in. Another good-looking freshman here in the Big Ten, Steve Isle. Pretty good defensive reactions for a freshman, and that time, fine move offensively. Just put it on the deck one time and got the layup. 39-36, Purdue leads by three. 16-40 left in the second half. Good one tonight, Michigan and Michigan State. Another one of those state championship type battles. Michigan putting that impressive win streak on the line against its cross-state rival. 11 in a row for the Wolverines. Mitchell going to the basket. He now has 15 points. Once again, he shows that good physical strength. Still had enough 
body control and balance left to get that ball to roll in. 16 minutes remaining, and Purdue leads by five. Mark Atkinson chasing Alford, giving him something to shoot over when he tries to raise up with it. Chris Smith with the miss. Pass to Mitchell, he was alone underneath. And we're gonna get the first foul of the second half. It will be on number 42, Cree Smith. 41-36, halftime score. Or rather, uh, at this point of the second half, 15-40 remaining. Halftime score was 35-32, Purdue. Mitchell on the right side. And a player control foul on Todd Mitchell. That is his second personal. Dockets, Robinson, inside the aisle, and he brings it back out. Robinson misses the shot, but gets it back. Purdue leads by five. Dockets cuts it to three. It appears that Purdue is in a little diamond and one now, actually playing a four-man zone with Atkinson simply chasing Steve Alford all over the floor. That time the Hoosiers solved it, knocked in the jumper. Indiana in their traditional straight man-to-man. Steve Reed makes it a five-point Purdue lead, and Reed has seven points. That's his second field goal of the game. Big basket by the senior as he gets the crowd quiet once again. Daryl Thomas about to come back in for Indiana. He started the game for the Hoosiers. Uve Blop all alone, and Blop has 10 points. Purdue leads by three, 43-40. Uwe Blob moving in behind the defender. Fine pass that time, Stu Robinson. Troy Lewis comes down and hits a pair. Lewis with four points. Came in with a 10.8 average. Foul by Mitchell is going for the steal, and Todd Mitchell guilty of his third personal. Alford's shot blocked by Mark Atkinson. There's the size advantage once again. Fine play by Atkinson. Purdue clearing the floor now for Steve Reed on the right side. And Lewis missed the shot, but he was fouled by Steve Alford. And the foul on Alford is his third personal. Pass intended for Bullock. It goes out of bounds. 45-40. Purdue leads with 12.38 remaining in the second half. Dockage into Alford. Alford missed the shot. Atkinson ahead to Reed. Reed puts it up and in. Steve Reed with nine points, and Purdue leads by seven. Good choice that time by Steve Reed under good control as he pulled up on the break. Robinson got the ball from Blop inside the oh. docket. Blocked underneath. And a foul on an Indiana player. Both Dockett and Thomas went down. Bob Knight was ejected five minutes into this game. James Bullock, first two points of the second half, he has 14. Bob Knight received three technical fouls. Robinson missing the shot, Bullock the rebound. A nine-point Purdue lead. Boilermakers here today jumped out to an 11-2 early lead. Pass for Atkinson, just could not get to it, and Steve Alford has it for Indiana. Darrell oh, oh. Thomas going to the basket, but called for the offensive foul, and that'll be his third. The 
with a series of these two schools. Best opportunity for Indiana was in the uh, the Eisenhower years in the 50s when Indiana won 13 of 18 games in the 1950s. There you go with those presidents. Yes. 10-51 goes out of bounds, stopping the clock. 49-40. Who was president when John Wooden played at Purdue? Give me the year. <laughs> I'd have to have the year. Uh, let's try like 28, 29, 30. Basket, Steve Reed puts it in at 11 points. 19, 28, 29, 30. Well, let's see. I think uh, Warren Harding became president in 29, and before him it would be uh, Calvin Coolidge, maybe? I'll go with you, Lanny. Let's All get right. back to the ball game. All right. 51-50, 51-40, Indiana leads. Intercepted by Dockage, the pass from Bullock. And Dockage feeds it to Steve Isle and a foul. Bullock has to go sit down now with four personals. And Isle is one of two at the line today, at seven points. Played three quarters of regulation time. At halftime, Purdue led by three points, 35-32, now up to a 10-point game. Steve Reed dumping it off to Atkinson, out to Troy Lewis. And the foul will be on Stu Robinson. That is his second personal. 9.30 remaining in the second half, and Purdue leading 51-41. Troy Lewis has six points, and it's now 12-point Purdue lead. Good penetration once again by Steve Reed. Brought the defense to him and bounced it out to the open Troy Lewis for the jumper. Here's a foul away from the basketball. Go against Todd Mitchell. Steve Alford missing the shot, and goes out of bounds. Purdue's ball. Both Little John and Blop were going for the rebound. Apparently went off Blop's hands. Slump continues for Steve Alford. He can't complain with that shot selection. They ran the out-of-bounds play, moved the ball well, reversed the court. Alford wide open in the left corner. Steve, Simply didn't drop for him. Steve Alford shot 64% from the field in preseason game, but he's been averaging just 48% in league games. Stolen by Dockett and a three-on-two break. Robinson with the shot, and he's fouled by Reed after the shot. The foul came on the shot, and so two at the line for Stu Robinson. Robinson now with five. 8.41 remaining. Indiana now trying to pick it up defensively. Coming with tough half-court pressure. They forced the turnover. 8.26 left in the second half. A 10-point game. Purdue on top. Lop missed the shot. Opportunity to cut it to eight, but it goes by the boards. Didn't look very comfortable on that one. Looked like he was going to pass off till the very last instant. And looked like he made up his mind in the air to shoot the basketball. We haven't seen Uve shoot the little hook shot going across the middle, which he's been so effective on this season. Robert Little John puts it in. Little John with his first two points of the game and a 12 point Purdue lead. Brought all of his teammates up off the bench on that one. Is they need this fellow to produce for them. Leading scores on the bench in today's game. Bullock and Mitchell with four. Little John also with a lot of pressure on him now at the defensive end as he's got Uwe Blop in a one on one situation. Darrell Thomas rises up with a jumper. 10-point ball game. And Thomas has six points. 7.20 remaining in the second half. Oh, basket's good. Basket. So this young man with some offensive difficulties this year, but he gets two big baskets in a row. From Fort Wayne, Indiana. Transferred from Dodge City Junior College. And Little John with five points. 58-45. Purdue now showing the zone tendency once again. 
Now they switch it up. They're just sagging back inside. Very conscious, though, all the time of where Alford is. This is Daryl Thomas working inside. Good move. Thomas with eight points. Third game back after sitting out because of the uh, dislocated kneecap. Returned last Saturday at Northwestern, played Thursday against Illinois, and starting here today. Away from the basketball, personal by Robert Littlejohn, establishing himself inside. Dockage with four points. Indiana leading, uh, trailing rather, by nine, 58-49. Purdue has the lead in the basketball with just over six minutes left. And Dockic had his right hand on the back of Steve Reed, reached around and pulled the ball away with his left. Dockic called for the personal, that's his third. And Reed missing it. Fifty-eight forty-nine. Inside, Todd Mitchell has a new career high of seventeen points. Good movement by the entire Purdue ball club that time. Good catch by Steve Isle as Dockage dumps it off to him at the last moment. Purdue leads by nine with five twenty remaining. Reed to Lewis. Stu Robinson, leading it for Indiana to Steve Alford. Alford with eight points, and it's now a seven-point game. They'll have to do it from the team concept and try to double the ball in all situations. Fine play there by Darrell Thomas. Chance to cut it to five. Duckage. Saved by Robinson. Super play by Steve Isle once again. Well, I'll tell you, there's Atkinson once again, reaching from behind this time as Alford, quicker than Atkinson, got a step on him. Purdue leading 60 to 53 with 434 remaining. Well, look at Alford work around that screen. To Robinson. Five point game. Purdue's lead is cut to five. Four ten left in the second half. Trying to work the clock a little bit. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Fouls on Steve Isle, and that is his second personal. First trip at the line uh, today. He's 18 of 22 in Big Ten games. This young man's played a super game out here today if he doesn't score a point from what he's done at the defensive end of the floor. Well, he has scored six points. That gives him 58 points in four games against Indiana. There they go with a little four-man box, a little matchup zone. Atkinson. Isle Bang. lost the ball. is fouled by Daryl Thomas. That will send Thomas out of this game. Bullock, one and one. Now with 15 points, an eight-point Purdue lead. Bullock missed the shot, but got it back. And 
Yeah, Troy Lewis going into the uh, basket, but the fouls on number 22, Stu Robinson. That's Robinson's third. Lewis had the game winner with 11 seconds remaining at Northwestern. Came up with a big bucket with three seconds left against Michigan State. The one and one situation as he was fouled on his drive before he went in the act of shooting. And missed the front end of that one and one. An eight point Purdue lead. 2.45 left. Alford missing the shot, and both Bullock and uh, Lewis were there for the rebound. Purdue once again doing a good job on the defensive boards. Hoosiers getting just one crack at it. And Dockic fouls Mitchell. That's number four on Dan Dockic. Mitchell with one and one. Seven of ten at the line, as you see, in this uh, game today, all in the first half. Closing in on possible 20s, two points away from 20. He keeps adding to his career high in this contest. He's going to be quite a performer here in the Big Ten for years to come. Super Bowl game here today. And now Purdue leads by 10. Dockett misses the shot. And Atkinson has it. Featured Mark Atkinson at the top, and he's performed very well. Reed to Bullock. Decides to pull it back out. Two minutes remaining. And the foul on Steve Alford. And Reed with 12 points. Got good board play out of Bullock and Mitchell both. Atkinson with a great defensive effort. And Steve Reed's just been a little bit of everything. He's been all over the place. 12-point Purdue lead. Reed with 13 points. They stay with the, the box and one once again. The four-man zone. And Atkinson on Alford, man-to-man. Dockage misses the shot. He goes out of bounds. So does Dockage. 145 remaining. Kyle to Robinson. And Stu Robinson has 10 points. Tonight, Michigan and Michigan State in East Lansing. Michigan with an 11 and 2 record and the uh, impressive win streak. Win streak of 11 in a row, 10 in league play for the Wolverines. And Mitchell makes it 21 points, 11 in the first half, 69 to 57 with 122 remaining. Stu Robinson comes down and answers with two. It gives him 12. And uh, another one that has some bearing on what's going to happen in the uh, Big Ten, uh, Illinois at Ohio State. I'm sure Lauren and George will keep up to date on that game as they step through the Michigan and Michigan State contest. Inside, Troy Lewis. And Lewis has eight points. 71-59, down to the final minute of play. We're in the final minute, and of course, Purdue a much quicker team. What they have on the floor right now than Indiana, and Indiana trying to come with a pressure. Purdue solved it twice for easy ones inside. Bill and I will uh, be with you uh, next Wednesday uh, from East Lansing. Spartans will host the Northwestern Wildcats. Pass inside to Smith, and the foul on Todd Mitchell, and so he will foul out with 51 seconds remaining. And Chris Smith. Uh, with nine points. He's looking at the book here. John Wooden in the early 30s, 1930, 31, and 32, and those all Big Ten teams. And a 71-61 score with 51 seconds. Bullock just did get over the line. Reed to Lewis. Knocked away by Steve Isle. Doc, it's a pass to Robinson. And Robinson has 14 points, 10 in the second half. And a foul will be on uh, Robinson. That's his fourth personal. I'll tell you, they consider Gene Cady one of the toughest coaches to beat two games in a row. They feel that after a Thursday defeat, uh, his ball club seemed to come back as well as any club in the league for their Saturday encounter, and they've done it again here today in one of the toughest places in the Big Ten to win on the road. 21 seconds remaining in the game. 
And Dockett's missing the shot. Turned away, and Lewis will lead the break. Three on one, no four on one. Gaddis off the glass. Bullock the rebound. We're down to seven, or now seven seconds. Two, one, and it's all over. Basket does not count, according to the officials, and so the uh, Purdue Boilermakers defeat the Indiana Hoosiers.